Let me tell you a little trick I used to do when I was a boy. See, I'd think of someone in school I really didn't like, then I'd write his name on the ball. So you'd think about him and hit it really hard? Well, that, and if I broke a window, he'd take the beating. <laughs> hey, guys, I got him. Four tickets to the Baseball Fan Expo. Dominic, you're going to love it. There's baseball cards, there's games. I even think the San Diego Chicken's going to be there. Hey, I could go for a bucket of that right now. <laughs> Dad, it's, it's a man in a chicken soup. <laughs> Put a little hot sauce on it. I'll try anything once. <laughs> Okay, here you go, buddy. Oh. That's a way to go. That's a way to go. Your follow-through looks real good, but your stance is all wrong. Put this foot out here. That way you can get around on the ball a lot quicker. See? Yeah, we just leave him the way he was, okay? You can hit for more power that way. I, I taught him to stand that way. Yeah, I want to hit home runs. Daddy says home run hitters can let their bodies go. <laughs> or you can listen to a guy who coached Johnny Bench when he played minor league baseball. You did? Dad. Yeah. Can we please, let's not get in on all that, okay? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Nobody likes a name dropper. You know who really didn't like name droppers? My dear friend, Willie Mays. <laughs> so what brings big Jimmy to town? Jimmy's parents had built up some bonus miles, so Jimmy thought they should use them before they expired. I thought miles didn't expire anymore. Not the miles, his parents. <laughs> hey, is your dad having fun out there with Dominic? Oh, yeah, he's found a fresh audience for his lies. He's probably out there telling him how he was president of the United States or how he landed on the moon or how he invented chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> well, I, I kind of believe that last one, you know, he puts ham and cheese on everything. Yeah, this morning I think I watched him invent Frosted Flakes cordon bleu. <laughs> well, he didn't do any of those things, and he didn't coach minor league baseball either. It's like, bad enough he lied to me growing up. I don't want him lying to Dominic, too. He told Dominic he coached minor league baseball? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dominic's out there thinking he's getting hitting tips from a pro. Oh, please. Big Jimmy can't even hit a toilet. <laughs> I've got the slippers to prove it. You know, it is a lie he's been telling me since the third grade, how he taught Johnny Bench how to hit in the minor leagues. He even told me he had his old coach's uniform in a trunk up in the attic. I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, he just wants to look cool in front of Dominic. You do the same thing. Yes, but I am cool. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a pair of leather pants in your closet that says otherwise. <laughs> you know what? Imagine how I felt. It's just like I, I kept bragging to my friends about my dad, and when they didn't believe me, I brought him up to the attic to show him his coach's uniform. Except I get up there, I open the trunk, and guess what? The only thing in there is a bunch of old Playboys. So, we did you a favor. I mean, what makes you more popular in junior high school? A dad who coached baseball or a box full of porn? <laughs> did you ever call him on it? What was I going to say to him? I was 13 years old, and I just found out my father was a liar. I'll tell you one thing. I never looked at him the same way again, though. And as soon as Dominic finds out the truth, he won't either. I hate to see the look on Dominic's face when he finds out his grandpa is a liar. Yeah, me too. Truth is, Big Jimmy will probably be dead by the time Dominic finds out. Craig. What, like it's out of the realm of possibilities? You hear all those snapping and popping noises when he walks up the stairs? Yeah, so? That's not his knees, Kim. That's his heart. We took a drive over to the batting cages. Oh. It was awesome. The people there even gave us free pizza and soda. <laughs> they did? Yeah. I leaned in, took a couple of pictures to the head. I was hoping for a lawsuit, but we settled for lunch and a handful of tokens. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had a good time. Yeah, I would have stayed longer, but I thought I'd better get it back since it was getting dark. Yeah, it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> it is? I guess I shouldn't have taken two pictures to the same temple. Thanks for taking me, Grandpa. Hey, that's my pleasure, pal. If I wake up from a nap, I'll show you how to catch a curveball, same way I taught Johnny Bush. Hey, uh, Dominic, why don't you uh, go out in the guest house, see what Mom and Logan are up to, okay? Hey, Dad, um, could you do me a favor and not talk to Dominic about all this minor league baseball stuff, please? Why, Dominic loves baseball. Yes, and uh, when he finds out you never really coach in the minor leagues, he's not going to love it anymore. What are you talking about? 
You, I, I coach for the Buffalo Bisons. I told you that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you also told me that the reason I didn't get anything for Christmas when I was 10 is because you shot the Grinch on our roof and the police kept my presence as evidence. <laughs> well, uh, no, part of that was true. Oh, yeah. Which part? Well, there were shots fired and they kept your presence as evidence. <laughs> But just don't go lying to your grandson anymore, okay? I'm not lying, Jimmy. No? I must have looked up your name a hundred times, and there was no record of you having coached anywhere. Jimmy, it was Class A ball. They didn't keep records back then. So sometimes we didn't even have a field to play on. One time we had to play in a parking lot. Johnny Bench almost lost a nipple sliding in the third. Enough, Dad. Enough, okay? There was no uniform. What? Huh? I went up into the attic to show my friends the uniform you said was in the trunk, and it wasn't there. Well, you must look in the wrong place. I didn't look in the wrong place. And that was the first time I realized that my own father would lie to me. And I don't want Dominic to find out the same thing about his grandfather. Sure, storm out of here and turn the lights off. I'll just sit alone here in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Card shows are so huge. I know. Hey, let's go over there. They're giving away more keychains. Jimmy, you've already picked up 20 keychains. How many keychains could you possibly need? You don't own a house, you don't have an office, and you start your car with a pair of pliers. <laughs> Check out how expensive all these old cards are. I used to have a lot of these when I was a kid. My mother threw them away so she could use the box for her recipes. <laughs> she could just find another box? I don't know. I told her I wanted the cards back. She told me she wanted the last 10 years of her life back. <laughs> that was usually my cue to leave the room. Hey, Dad, can we try some of the games? No, hey, sure. Hey, Greg, come on. You want to come over? No, but I got a call to make. Mom, pick up. It's Greg. Look, I know you're screening your calls. Just pick up. All right, fine, then screen this. Does the name Jim Catfish Hunter ring a bell? Eighty dollars! Hey, Dominic, just back up a little bit. You're crowding the plate too much. Grandpa said getting hit is just as good as getting a hit. Yeah, well, you know what? That's exactly what I'd expect from your grandfather. You can work hard day and night your whole life uh, to become the best hitter you can be, or you can just uh, stick your neck out and hope you get beaned in the head with a fastball. Yeah, that's what Grandpa said. <laughs> Excuse me, how much is this card worth? $200. 200 200 excuse me. $200. Rod Carew, Mom, 200 big ones. Do you hear me? 200... Oh, oh, you're home. Uh-huh. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Or is that right? It was time to put away childish things, huh? Well, let, me, let me ask you this. How's your collection of porcelain pigs coming along? <laughs> Look, Mom, I, I gotta go. Excuse me, you're Johnny Bench, right? Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. This is unbelievable. You think I can get a couple seconds of your time? I'm sorry. I, I just want to enjoy my hot dog. Yeah, hot dogs, huh? That's surprising. World-class athlete like you putting something like that in your body? <laughs> Come on, it's just a hot dog. Yeah, but you know what's in there. I mean, maybe you should look at a little box on the back of the package that says nutritional facts. <laughs> look, I'm just trying to eat here. Well, go ahead and enjoy, but I'll tell you one thing. You keep eating those things, and there's going to be one big red machine that doesn't work so well. You call it. Security! Listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do, do, you know a, do you know a guy named Jimmy Hughes? Jimmy Hughes? Yeah, did you ever play baseball with, with a guy named Jimmy Hughes? I had a coach named Jimmy Hughes in Buffalo. Oh, my God, I don't believe that. Stay right here. I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, what is your rookie card worth? $125. $125. Do me a favor. Hit redial, and when the woman answers, ask her if she has any $125 recipes for Peach Melba. <laughs> No, your uh, son was rude to me too, Natalie. I told him I was trying to enjoy my lunch, but he wouldn't leave me alone. Hot dog. I, I know, but they didn't have turkey dogs. <laughs> no, no, I'm a Hall of Famer. I can't order a garden burger. <laughs> Bye, Natalie. Jimmy, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench? Wow. Nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy Hughes. 
You're Jimmy Hughes? Yeah. No, the Jimmy Hughes that coached me has to be in his 60s. What? Yeah, I mean, he took so many fastballs to his head, he's probably a blithering idiot by now. <laughs> oh, my God, you know my father. You're Jimmy Hughes' son? I can't believe this. Don Dominic, this is Johnny Bench. This is the guy Grandpa coached. Wow, Jimmy Hughes' kid. Hey, there's a couple of guys here that would like to meet you. Hey, Ernie. Frank. Oh, my God. It's Ernie Banks and Frank Robinson. I can't believe it. I had their league leader cards. I'm sick. <laughs> Johnny, have you tried this delicious garden burger? <laughs> You're not going to believe, guys. I want you to meet Jimmy Hughes, Jr. Wow. Jimmy Hughes. I haven't heard that name in 35 years. You know my dad, too? Sure. Buffalo Bisons. I can't believe this. We got to go home and tell him right now. Your father lives in Los Angeles? Oh, uh, no, he's just here visiting. He was supposed to be here today, but... Oh, that's too bad. We would have liked to have seen him, wouldn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I can't believe he's not here, and this is my fault. If you invite them, they will come. <laughs> what? If you invite them, they will come. What are you talking about? If you invite us, we will come. Thank you. Thank you very much. He never gets any of my movie references. Invite him over, dummy. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys want to come over? Well, we got a few more hours here, but we're free tonight. Would that be okay? Are you kidding me? It'd be great. Hey, can I bother you guys to uh, sign my glove? It's a gardening glove. Yeah, well, in high school, 4-H was at the same time as baseball, but 4-H, they didn't make you shower in front of the other boys. <laughs> There he is. Just the guy I was looking for. Listen, if this is about me ordering that dirty movie on pay-per-view, that was a mistake. <laughs> now, Dad, uh, I don't care about that. Really? Then don't come in here after 10 o'clock tonight. God, I'm dying, aren't I? Dad, I just like hanging out with you. I thought you were mad at me. No, I was wrong. I thought about it, and if you say you coach in the minor leagues, then I believe you. Well, you're my dad. That's good enough for me. Well, thanks. If you're a mother and three blood tests in the Commonwealth of Virginia say you're my son... That's good enough for me. Hey. hey, where's Big Jimmy? Oh, uh, he's upstairs. He said he had to take a shower for his big night. You're kidding. He found out about his surprise? No, no, no. He has no idea, but apparently has some other big thing planned at 10. <laughs> Well, Jimmy wanted me to get some bats for the players to autograph. Oh, and I also went up in the attic and brought down the bat that I made when I was a kid. I never knew you made a bat. Yeah, remember in The Natural when Robert Redford made a bat from the tree in his backyard? Well, it inspired me. <laughs> we lived in an apartment. We didn't have any oak trees. This is part of my bunk bed ladder. <laughs> hey, what's going on out here? We were just putting out some, some snacks and beer for you, our guest. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jimmy's hugging me. You're making me snacks. I wake up every morning with a bloody nose. Quit lying to me, folks. I'm dying, aren't I? No, oh, no, no. We just like having you here. In fact, you know those pillowcases you've been using? Keep them. <laughs> Dad, there's some people here to see you. Who? Remember these guys from the Buffalo Bisons? Johnny Bench, Ernie Banks, and Frank Robinson. Hey, guys. How you doing, Johnny? Jimmy Hughes. I can't believe it. How you been, Jimmy? Oh, girl, pretty. But uh, listen, could you leave us alone just for a few minutes? Oh, are you kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Greg, start the camcorder. Uh, Come on, Kim. Help me bring up the rest of the food. So, uh, 
Years, it's been a long time. It's been over 30 years, and none of us have forgotten what you did to us that night in Memphis. Oh, what did he do? Would he uh, give some uh, great inspirational speech to help you win the game? He stole the team payroll and took off an hour bus. <laughs> what? We had to walk five miles back to the motel. That's the last time we ever saw you. Listen, I, I was just a kid, so I made one little mistake. You also stole all of our vats. And our gloves. And my girlfriend. <laughs> well, she wasn't your girlfriend. She was everybody's girlfriend. Dad, you stole money from them and, and, you, and you ran off with some tramp? Son, don't talk about your mother like that. <laughs> It's payback time, Hughes. Hey, come on, that's been a long time ago, Johnny. Can't we just let bygones be bygones? Look, bats! Oops. <laughs> Bench is using my bat. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> hey, Dad. Did you sleep all right last night? Yeah, I slept like a baby. A baby that just had the snot kicked out of it. <laughs> Can't help but feel this is all my fault. Which part? Setting me up for a beating or arming the people that did it? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm glad it happened. The one less thing I have to keep looking over my shoulder for, which is good because it can't turn my head in either direction. You know, I think Frank Robinson bit me. What is that about? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry I let you down again. I, I, I just didn't want you to know what a terrible person that I was. Are you kidding, Dad? I always knew you were a weasel and a thief. But until yesterday, I, I never really knew that you were a professional baseball coach. Hey, Dad, will you teach me how to catch a curveball? I'll tell you what. Why don't you have your grandpa teach you? He taught Johnny Bench. All right. Thanks, son. Uh, uh, son? Yeah. Uh, do me a favor. Don't ever surprise me by calling any of my old army buddies. Them guys got guns. <laughs> All right, this is like a long, long, long time ago. When people were going out west, like cowboys and Indians, they used to go out west. To get, there was gold out there. People were looking for gold. Uh, uh, Horace Greeley was a guy with a new... He said, go west, young man. And about half the young men in Seattle drowned. <laughs> That's it. Humor. But see, the problem was getting there. They didn't want to walk. It was thousands of miles, so they used to use these donkeys. Not these, of course, that's just a toy! <laughs> but, they would, but they would take real donkeys, and then they would hook these wagons on these donkeys, and then the donkeys would pull the wagons out westward. Oh! <laughs> that's the whole idea behind that. And they used to have to hit them, whip them real hard. Because it may sound inhumane, but the donkeys weren't that excited about going west. <laughs> So well, that's it. I'll, I'll be the, uh, they call them mule skitters. I'll be the mule guy, and he, I'll play the part of that, and he'll play a part of the donkey. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Stop. 
clap, clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity 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 clap in a lawn. See, I don't shake it directly. There's a blood chaw to back you for a rancher in the corona, a guitar for a cowboy way out in Arizona, a crystal calico for a pretty Navajo. Get along, get along. It's all timing, perfect timing with the crack. I thought you train. You take Clippity clapping through the wind and rain They'll keep going till they drop Clippity clap, clippity clap Clippity 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 clapping along There's a letter for the sad suit Black around the border A pair of boots for someone Who had to make the order A Bible in the pack for the Reverend Mr. Black Get along Yeah. <laughs>